guys and welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back so I feel like I say this every single time I sit down to film a video but it feels like forever since I've actually sat down and filmed like a haul for you guys or a new in video so that's what I'm doing today um, to be honest I've just been so sick of like summer weather summer clothes all that kind of stuff um, I'm over it so now I'm ready for autumn I've been doing quite a lot of shopping so I'm going to show you what I picked up recently so I have been picking up quite a lot from quite a lot of different places but today I'm going to stick to Zara H&M and ASOS um, so I'm going to show you what I got all of it's new in so all of it will be linked down below for you and I hope you enjoyed the video and let's get into it so I'm going to start with Zara because I know we all love Zara so first of all I got this navy pinstripe blazer I absolutely love this so I've literally been seeing everyone wearing navy pinstripe blazers recently I think they look so cool they give off kind of like a vintagey wearing like your dad's blazer vibe and I just love them so I picked this one up in a medium and a small. I didn't know what size to go for and I'm definitely going for the medium. I wouldn't say it runs big at all. Um, so yeah, size up if you want a bit of an oversized look. But I thought this would look so nice coming into, well we're in autumn, but coming into like autumn winter, paired with like a black hoodie underneath, leather trousers, some boots, that kind of thing. Um, and kind of dress it down rather than up. Also pairing it with like blue denim will look really nice. Just thought this is like a good staple piece to have in the wardrobe. It also has really nice kind of like thick shoulder pads. So it will give you that like dad blazer vibe. And I just love that. It's exactly what I was looking for. So I'm really, really happy with this. As I said, I've tried it on and I really, really do love it. It's the perfect little blazer. So the pinstripes are actually quite subtle, which I like. So from a distance, you probably wouldn't be able to tell that it's like proper pinstripe, but it does have very faint pinstripes on it. It has two buttons here and a, yeah, and two buttons here. So it is double breasted. Um, and then a nice big kind of collar and fold over and then it has the padded shoulders of course and I just really really love it. I think it's a gorgeous blazer and it is actually quite thick so it will keep you quite warm um, throughout autumn winter. If this one retailed at $89.99 which is actually quite expensive for a blazer but as I said it's super thick, it's super like well made, um, it just feels like a really good blazer. The lining's also lovely and black and like shiny so yeah that is the first piece. Next I picked up a jumper, um, I'm not too sure on this though. It's just plain black, it's got a round collar and it's kind of like a big thick knit. So I picked this one up in a medium because I wanted it to be super oversized, like wearing it with leather trousers, boots, a crossbody bag. And I wanted it to come to kind of like mid thigh. Don't think this is going to come to mid thigh. I think I should have sized up to a large in this to be quite honest. But also I'm kind of looking at it and I'm like I do have so many jumpers similar to this so I'm not sure if I need it. But it will look really nice underneath like that blazer I showed you or as I said just on its own with leather trousers, boots, that kind of thing. Um, kind of like a fail safe jumper. This one retails at $29.99. I do have a few jumpers from Zara in this material. The only thing I will say is it's not that soft. Like I don't have a problem with itchy materials but I know if you do have an issue with like itchy materials or things itching you, this isn't the one for you because it is kind of like that scratchy not super soft material but yeah that's the jumper okay next I got a pair of sunglasses I already have these in plain black and I love them but the leg fell off so I need to get them fixed but I picked up this style so let me get the sticker off they look like this I love this shape on me I think it really really suits me not with my hair like this I always wear this shape with my hair in a bun um, I'll just pop them on for you. I think they just look really cool. Um, I've already got an outfit in my head, which is the pinstripe blazer, leather trousers, these glasses, low bun, and like big silver jewelry. These were $15.99, but as I said, I have already had these in black and they didn't last me much longer than like two months. So be aware of that. Just be super careful with them. But I do like them and they are nice and like sturdy sunglasses. I just think they look really chic, kind of like a vintagey feel. Um, yeah, I just really love them. So I picked up them. Okay, so next I picked up some denim. I'm quite funny with Zara denim. They sometimes fit me really well. Sometimes it look horrendous on me. Sometimes the waist is too big, the legs too long. Like they're never ever normally perfect. So I tried these ones which are called the cigarette jean and they're in Arizona blue. And I just really, really like the color of the, the wash of denim. I really like the fit of, well, the way they look like they fit. Um, and I got these in a 34, which I believe is a six. Maybe it's a four, I'm not sure. But they look like this, not too high waisted, but not hipsters. So with a belt, they will sit high up, but the waist is too big on me. So I will need to get these tailored or just wear a belt. They have two pockets on the front and then they have two pockets on the back. And they just come straight down into a straight leg and raw hem. And I just really, really love them. They are probably about two inches too big for me. If they sat above the ankle, they would honestly be the most perfect straight leg jean. 
but they come down to like right where my ankle sits and so I just think they're a little bit too long. What I did was I just rolled them that much, either leg, and honestly they look so good. I really, really like them. I'm really happy with them. The way they fit my legs is just like the perfect straight leg jean, like not too skinny, not too baggy, just like a really nice jean. I'm really happy with them. Um, also like where the pockets are, they're kind of distressed. Um, and yeah, they just look really nice and vintagey. so I really love them. Okay, so I've just found the tag in the pocket. So these actually are a UK six and they are um, 29 dollars which is a really good price for jeans. And I think this wash of denim paired with that pinstripe blazer and then some black loafers will look really, really chic. So picked them up, very, very happy. And then I picked up these leggings, which I think are gonna be a love-hate thing, okay? I love them, I tried them on and I was like, mm, do they look good? But no, I'm loving them. So they are full leather, um, all plain black, black button, it's a popper button though, which I like. These are tight to about the knee and then they flare out and I love them. Again, same with the jeans, I thought they would be like two inches shorter than they are um, actually on me, but it's fine, I really, really like them. Also, I will say, usually I will always buy trousers in the TRF range from Zara, which I think is like the younger range or like the teenage range. Um, because I think the sizes are smaller there, but these actually fit me super super well They're the perfect like tightness around my bum around my waist um, all perfect at the top And then obviously they come into the flare and yeah I just thought these were a really nice alternative to skinny leather leggings or I've got like baggy leather leggings And um, they're just coming a little bit different. So I really like these and again I'm loving blazers at the minute, but pairing them with blazers or um, I've actually been pairing them with a leather jacket Which I'm going to show you and they look so cool So these I got in an extra small and they were $19.99 also I've put these on with heels and they look so cool for like a night out so yeah really really love these this one I picked up a little while ago um, and I've already worn it on my Instagram so I love this it's going to be hard to show um, right now but obviously you'll see it in the cutaway but it's just like the perfect trench coat ever it's in this I think it's called the waterproof trench I think um, it's kind of like that material where if water goes on it it will like drip off I love a trench coat in autumn and this is like the perfect colour of beige I feel like tr sometimes trench coats can be hard to get the perfect colour but this one is perfect and um, it has buckles around each sleeve which I love so you can tighten the like kind of like this you can tighten the sleeve in and then it kind of have this like little puff effect at the end so it comes with a belt I've just tied this at the back to kind of like nip it in a little bit but yeah I really really love this and this I don't know the price of it I think it was around £90 but I will link it down below for you so that is everything I got from Zara and now we have oh no I didn't I've got a pair of shoes I'm not too sure on these only because I think they are a little bit too big for me but I need to style them up and see as well if I actually like them but I love the way they look off but on they look a little bit weird like they make my feet look really big but they are these leather boots they retail at 90 99.99 so they are a little bit more expensive for Zara but they are real leather so they have this square front and then the heel is just something a little bit different I just really like them I think they look really really expensive um but they just look really big <laughs> I don't know I think it's because obviously your foot ends here that has this extra kind of like bit coming out so it does make them look a little bit bigger than your actual foot but yeah I just I don't know I've got to style them up but I'm thinking like black skinny jeans oversized shirt or oversized jumper so I will let you know how I get on with them because I mean even looking at them now they just look really big I just thought they were something a little bit different they look a lot more expensive than Zara um but I will let you know if I keep them because I do think they kind of give me banana feet but yeah that's them okay moving on to H&M I did a little order from there some of it was homey stuff and then this was the only thing I think that was like fashion so I'll just show you this one so it's this faux leather jacket, I think it's called. They're calling it a jacket with a tie belt online, but I would say it's a jacket, shirt jacket. Um, let me just untie this belt. So it looks like this, I really, really love it. Again, all that muted black, so no like silver buttons or anything, they've just kept it all completely black, which I'm loving. Um, it has a little pocket and it's just popper buttons all the way down. And then it has this belt which you tie in the middle. I'm not doing this any justice, but you will see it in the cutaway. I'm just loving this like shacket style on me at the minute. I think it gives me like, it makes me look taller and it gives me a really nice waist and I just, I really, really love it. So this I'm loving. I can't remember the price because I've already worn it, but I think I think it was about 30 pounds um, and this I've tried on with those leather trousers from Zara and a pair of heels and it looks really really cool this one I got in extra small and I think it was about 30 pounds I think um, but I'll link it down below and I'll also pop on screen here me wearing on Instagram um, but yeah I absolutely love this okay and then the final thing I got was from ASOS I have been eyeing these up for so long and I've always kind of been like no they're not going to suit me they're not my style like, they're a bit too like 
cool for me um, and then I just thought you know what I'm gonna get them and I'm so happy with them so I picked up a pair of Doc Martens these I can't remember the name of them but I know that they're like the softer leather ones so they're quite like thin leather and I went for these ones because you can really suck them into like your leg and make them look seamless these I think were about £119 as well and I went true to size and they fit perfectly and I wore these two days ago all day walking around town and they were so so comfortable um, and I just love them. I think these are like my new go-to boot and I know these are going to be like really durable, they're going to last years, that kind of thing. So really really happy with these um, and yeah I just love them. I never thought I'd be sat here saying I love Doc Martens. Okay and that is everything I'm going to show you today. Um, I do have quite a few more autumn focused videos coming but they are in the post on the way to me so there's like a top shop haul coming and I'm also going to be doing some styling ones so yeah stay tuned for that um, anything I showed you will be linked down below and all the sizes and stuff will be down there as well and I will see you next time bye